Today video will talk about YouTube principle. Topics are, what is YouTube? Utilize YouTube for drilling. YouTube relationship. Important concepts of YouTube. Example. And. Application of YouTube. What is YouTube? The method to describe behavior of two fluid columns which are connected at the bottom. Basically, this situation is simply described in common oil field name as YouTube. At the bottom where two fluid columns are connected, the pressure at this point is equal to both sides. One fluid column can be used to describe the behavior of another column which we will demonstrate you later in this video. YouTube. One side can be considered as a string of pipe, such as drill pipe and tubing, is in a well bore, and fluids are able to pass inside of string of pipe. And another side is the annulus, which is the area between well bore and string of pipe. This diagram demonstrates YouTube in our drilling business. As you can see in this diagram, one side represents column of fluid of the drill pipe side. Another side represents annulus. Bottom hole pressure on both sides is the same. YouTube relationship. Based on bottom hole pressure equation. Bottom hole pressure equal to hydrostatic pressure plus surface pressure. So we can expand into this equation from information of both drill pipe and annulus side. From the drill pipe side, bottom hole pressure equation is equal to shut in drill pipe pressure, plus hydrostatic pressure in the drill string. From the annulus side, bottom hole pressure equation is equal to shut in casing pressure, plus hydrostatic pressure in the annulus. If you have the same fluid in both sides, shut in drill pipe pressure will be equal to shut in casing pressure. On the other hand, when columns are occupied by fluids of different densities, there's likely to be a difference in both surface pressure and hydrostatic pressure in both columns. For example, this is commonly seen in a kick in the well bore as you can see from the diagram. As formation pressure increases above hydrostatic pressure, it kicks. The well will stop flowing if it's shut in. A surface pressure on the drill pipe gauge is then a reflection of the pressure under balance. As opposed to drilling mud in the annulus, the fluid now contains lighter weight formation fluid, and this leads to a reduction in total hydrostatic pressure in the annulus. The shut and casing pressure increases above shut and drill pipe pressure to compensate to the underbalanced in annulus side, compared to the drill pipe side. There are some important concepts of YouTube that we would like to discuss. First, fluid flows from a higher pressure area to a lower pressure. Second, if the system is not closed, lighter fluid will be flown out and then stabilize. As you can see from the diagram, higher mud density, 9.8 ppg, is pumped into the drill string but the lighter mud, 9.2 ppg, is the annulus side. When you stop pumping, the well will flow because, lighter mud density will be pushed out due to hydrostatic pressure difference. The well will stop flowing when the heavier mud drops into a certain level, where bottom hole pressure in both sides is the same. The last one. If the system is closed, pressure must be the same at the bottom point, where both sides of YouTube are connected. For example, determine shut in casing pressure. When mud weight 9.8 ppg is pumped to the bit, and the well is shut in, the fluid density in the annulus is 9.2 ppg. True vertical depth at the bit is 10,000 feet. The well is in overbalanced condition. This diagram illustrates this example. 
Let's utilize the relationship of U-tube. Bottom hole pressure equation is equal to shut-in drill pipe pressure, plus hydrostatic pressure in the drill string. And is equal to shut-in casing pressure, plus hydrostatic pressure in the annulus. Determine bottom hole pressure from drill pipe side. As you can see, there is no shut-in drill pipe pressure. So the bottom hole pressure will come from hydrostatic pressure in the drill string only. Based on the equation, the bottom hole pressure is equal to 5096 psi. Determine shut-in casing pressure from the bottom hole pressure that we get. Bottom hole pressure is equal to shut-in casing pressure, plus hydrostatic pressure in the annulus. 5096 psi equals shut in casing pressure, plus hydrostatic pressure in the annulus, which is 0.052 times 10,000 times 9.2. We can solve the equation to get shut in casing pressure, which is 312 psi. You will have 312 psi on the casing side when the well is shut in. YouTube can be applied to various operations such as well control, cementing operation, hole monitoring, tripping operation, pumping slug and etc. Thanks for watching our video. If you like our contents, please feel free to subscribe and click the bell on our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook and follow us on Instagram.